Greetings, students. Uh, this is the second week's worth of lectures. Uh, this is for class on March 27th that does that deals with the case study for Unit 2, um, which is called BTS, that's Business Travel Services. Um, BTS is a specialist travel agent, has to work hard to retain a key client. Uh, just to remind you that uh, BTS is a corporate travel agency, not a leisure travel agency. What is the difference? Well, a leisure travel agency is where you would go if you want to go on vacation. So for example, you want to go to Thailand for a week, you would just go into Hana Tour and just say, I want to go to Thailand for a week. They'll give you several brochures and then uh, there are different travel packages uh, and then you would book it and then you would go. Now, corporate travel uh, specifically books travel just for corporations. And there's a big difference. When you go into a travel agent to book a trip for you or you and your family, uh, you don't have economies of scale. Maybe you're booking for just a couple people, three or four people, et cetera. But when a company goes to a corporate travel agency, they get big discounts by going through a corporate travel agency because they have economies of scale. So for example, BTS, they probably buy thousands of flights, thousands of hotels every year. So they're able to negotiate much lower rates um, and pass those savings on to their corporate clients. So let's read the background. Uh, Business Travel Services, BTS, is based in Philadelphia, USA. One of its most important clients is the large multinational corporation, Neotech, whose head office is also in Philadelphia. Recently, Neotech senior executives have had problems when they've been on business trips organized by BTS. So what does that mean? Well, Neotech is a large corporation and they use BTS to book their travel for their employees. Now, uh, let's, let me skip on to the who we are. Uh, BTS provides a full range of corporate travel services we are highly experienced in handling the requirements of today's business traveler. Among our clients are multinational companies, which are household names. Here, household names would be uh, any co corporation that is so big that everybody in your family knows the name of that corporation, whether it's Samsung, LG, Kellogg's, or Microsoft, IBM, whatever it is. Uh, what we do. Our travel consultants work to produce top value fares and the best itineraries to suit the needs of your staff. We will minimize your expenses by arranging your staff's travel at the right price, getting additional discounts for you and establishing direct contact with the best service providers. All of our overseas partners are selected because of their high standard of service, attention to detail and quality of product. And the services they offer are flights, hotel bookings, car rentals, uh, conference bookings, and insurance. So let's look at the next page. Here, um, as a BTS travel consultant, complete the task below. Uh, read each of the four problems and make notes about it. So there's four different uh, problems that they're going to go over, but let me skip this part here. This is um, stage one and stage two are both practices that we will do in class. Uh, so let's move to stage three. Uh, following requests from BTS account manager, Neotech's head of travel sends summaries of four problems with senior executives at Neotech that they had during recent business trips. Look at page 21. Let me turn off my phone volume. I'm getting cacao messages. Uh, just to say a little bit more. Now, Neotech, um, when somebody at Neotech that's an executive wants to go on a business trip, they don't contact BTS directly. Uh, Neotech has a head of travel that all the employees from uh, Neotech contact the head of travel at Neotech then the Neotech head of travel contacts BTS and gives all the relevant information for them to make all the arrangements for the Neotech uh, employee. So, but four of their senior executives had problems on business trips that were arranged by BTS. So if you look on the next page, 
there are summaries of four different problems. One's a hotel problem, lost luggage problem, car rental problem, and a diverted flight. So um, here, uh, read each of the four problems and make notes about it. So the hotel problem, this is uh, an example of the problem. Last Thursday, oh, this is actually said by the uh, Neotech employee. Last Thursday, I checked into the uh, Excelsior Hotel. The receptionist told me that I had been upgraded and my room was on the 16th floor. Well, I stayed there for an hour or so, then asked to move to another room. The upgraded room had no save for my money and the lighting was very bad. Also, there was a group of noisy people next door. The new room was no better. I couldn't take a shower because there was no water for four hours. The coffee machine didn't work. The ice cream machine was out of, the ice machine was out of order and the desk was too small. I called the receptionist to get some action, but she seemed to, too busy to do anything. The hotel simply isn't up to standard. What can you do about it for me? So this is the, um, the employee at Neotech complaining to, um, to um, the uh, BTS about what can they do. So if you look here, read each of the four problems and make notes about it. So after having read this hotel problem, you can put in bulletin points. You don't have to write full, uh, full paragraph form, but write down what are the problems that the Neotech employee had when checking into this hotel. Next one, lost luggage. Three months ago, I traveled to Atlanta, Georgia. Two pieces of luggage didn't arrive. I reported the loss to the airline. They promised to find the bags and send them to me. Some weeks later, they wrote saying they can't find the bags and asked me to fill out a claim form. I didn't hear from them for another month. Then they asked me to send receipts for all of the missing articles. I didn't have the receipts for the lost items. It's three months later and still no news from the airline. My emails and letters go get no response. The airline has recently merged with another company, and I wonder if this is part of the problem. Can you help? Again, here, lost luggage problem. You're going to summarize, and you can do bulletin points. What are the problems the person is facing? The car rental problem. The rental office at the airport couldn't give me the car I had reserved. It was the media. It was in the medium price range at $250 a week. Instead, they offered me a choice. A smaller car, which was uncomfortable and had a small trunk, or a bigger car for an extra $20 a day. I was expecting a free upgrade, but the clerk on the desk refused to do that. His attitude was take it or leave it. So I hired the bigger car, and when the company billed me, I ended up paying $490 for the car. Again, here, um, the car rental problem, uh, summarize the problem. Diverted flight. I was on a flight to Moscow, but the flight was diverted to Helsinki because of bad weather. There was a lot of confusion at Helsinki because the airline sent all the passengers to the same hotel for the night. Some passengers became very aggressive when they tried to get a room. I had to share a room with another passenger. The hotel made all passengers pay for their rooms. The next morning, we had to wait six hours in the cold terminal for the flight to Moscow. The airline wouldn't pay for our hotel expenses. They said the circumstances were beyond their control. I think we should be compensated for all of the inconvenience. Again, uh, here, uh, write the summary of the diverted flight problem. Now, part two. Write summaries of the problems for your colleagues and answers, answer any potential problems they may have. So here you're just summarizing in bulletin points uh, the problems that they had for each one. And now you have to write a summary for the problems for your colleagues and answer any potential problem questions they may have. So again, you're going to, but this time you're going to write it in paragraph form and you're going to just do a short summary of the problems they had and then um, anything that you could do as the travel agent to help fix these problems. So for example, the hotel problem, you can list all of the problems that they had, and then you can try to address those problems uh, for your coworkers, which would be your other travel agents uh, at BTS and what you tried to do. For example, 
you could say. Um, I suggest that we that you know I called the the hotel to complain. I asked them to switch to a better room. Uh, in the future, I think that we should uh, ask the hotel to give their front office staff better training. Uh, I think we need to apologize profusely uh, to the um, to Neotech and also specifically to the uh, account executive or the executive at Neotech. I would suggest writing a handwritten letter uh, summarizing uh, the steps that we're going to take to try to alleviate this type of problem in the future. Um, I also suggest sending a $20 Starbucks gift card uh, enclosed in the handwritten letter. Um, I also suggest that we try to negotiate a new contract with the hotel to make sure that they address the issues with training, et cetera, et cetera. These, this is so one paragraph that kind of summarizes what are the, the, the problems that the executive had, and another paragraph that tries to answer how to respond to those problems and what to do about the Neotech executive. So you'll do that for all four of the problems. Now, the third part, after each summary, write about the following. Did the executive in each case deal with the problem effectively? Why or why not? So here above, you're going to make your suggestions of how you, the BTS travel agent, would have tried to solve the problem. Here, you're going to uh, write, did you solve the problem effectively? Why or why not? Because even though you said, I would have tried to do this, that, and the other, uh, to be able to solve the problems, maybe they're lacking in certain ways, or maybe it causes other problems. So you need to say what, to summarize, I suggested that we do like this, uh, but there could be other problems because of blah, blah, blah. Now here, what can BTS do to solve the problem? This, pre this previous section three is about you, the travel agent at BTS, to try to solve the problem. But here, this is specifically about BTS, the company. Um, how can they solve the problem? So you, as a travel agent, may be able to call the hotel and complain to them. But to change the contract or to negotiate the contract, you, the travel agent, couldn't do it. It would be BTS, the company, would have to negotiate uh, with the hotel about including better um, education for their front office staff, et cetera. So what can BTS do to uh, help the problem? Now, part C is, what is the best solution for each executive? What, if anything, could he or she hope to get from the company concerned? Now, this is more about compensation. So for the hotel problem, you can list um, what is the best solution for trying to offer some sort of compensation. Um, that could be, of course, having to apologize, but maybe there could be some sort of thing like uh, giving gift certificates. For a hotel, maybe you can ask for upgrade uh, tickets so that way the next time they stay at a hotel that they can get a free upgrade or free breakfast or free lunch um, vouchers, food vouchers, uh, et cetera. So you would do that for each one of the problems. Now, the writing assignment as the account manager for BTS, write an email to Neotech's head of travel, apologizing for the inconvenience. Offer some compensation and explain what steps BTS has taken to make sure a similar problem does not happen again. So remember, this is more on the BTS company level, not just the individual level. So here, you're going to look at page 127, which is the writing file here. Uh, this is page 127. Again, uh, you're going to write an email, so it should be to, from, uh, is it being CC'd or BCC'd to somebody? You need to write in what is the subject, and then you need to write the email as according to this writing assignment. And it should look like this, an introduction with like a greetings, uh, salutations uh, at the end, a closing with um, like best wishes, best regards, etc. your name, your title, address, and signature. Here we're going to continue. Uh, we're going to watch a short video on um, how to uh, write a business email. For the past few decades, email has been a cornerstone of business communication. And over that time, it's developed a unique style and structure. 
All business emails should be direct, clear, and easy to read. The formality of your writing, however, can vary, depending on your company, your readers, subject matter, or other factors. No matter what you're writing, remember to stay professional, because you lose control of an email once you click send. Emails can be copied and forwarded to others indefinitely, so make sure you choose your words carefully. When it comes to the subject line, you want it to be brief and descriptive. If it's too vague or rambling, you may lose your reader's attention. Every email needs at least one recipient. But if you're including multiple recipients, consider using the CC or carbon copy field. This keeps those extra readers in the loop without requiring them to respond. Make your greeting brief and friendly and address the recipient by name if you know it. The first name is preferable if you're more familiar with the recipient, and you should use their last name if you want to be more formal. In the body of your email, start with your main point so it's easy to find, and keep your writing concise and focused on your readers. If you need a response from your readers, include a call to action so they know how to respond. Also, if you've attached a file to your email, be sure to mention it here. As you reach the ending, offer a quick farewell such as thanks or sincerely. Then give your name and contact information. Writing concise emails is a powerful skill that you can develop through consistent practice. Keep writing and learning and you'll become a more effective communicator with every email you send. Okay, so that concludes um, our online lecture for March 27th. Um, please look at the, the Blackboard. I have included the homework sheet here, um, there for you to fill out. And uh, the due date will be April 2nd uh, by midnight. So please be sure to upload that to be able to get credit for the homework assignment. Um, please have a safe week and I'll see you again or I'll see you online or hopefully in person soon. Thank you.